Hi, welcome to Radiant Studio. My name is Karen and I'm going to teach you a moderate float today. Um, linking breath to movement and just doing a sweet little vinyasa. So I'd like to invite you to come to a comfortable seated position. It might be on props. Um, maybe you have some blocks at home. If not, you certainly can grab a blanket and fold it. Place your hands on your lap. And then just have a hazy gaze, or just close your eyes. And then just notice what it feels like just to sit. Notice the areas of your body that you feel, like, you know, my back is sore, my knee hurts. Those are obvious signals. They're obvious signs. But maybe you start to get curious with your breath and begin to breathe deeply into your belly, allowing that air to travel up into your lungs, pushing your rib cage, your collarbone open gliding up your throat to the top of your head and then exhaling drawing knitting your ribs together belly button comes into spine and then breathe in again filling your belly with air imagining that air as it fills your whole rib cage spreading it out the air then travels up the back of your neck Exhaling, knitting it all back together, right to center. Inhale, one more time on your own. Get curious. How big can I make myself? And then the exhale, how small can I make myself? Notice your sits bones, your spine, your long, tall spine. Your shoulders are back and down. Your neck is elegant. And imagine if I came around and you had a little string in the center of your head and I was able just to pull you up just a little bit. Feel your physical form. And the next time you breathe in, bring your hands to heart center, pressing your palms together and bowing your head, setting an intention for the day, for the week, for the month. And then allowing your fingers to point forward, opening your palms and letting them float over your lap as a gesture of reception. And then bring your arms out to your sides, big breath in, reach your arms up over your head, connect your palms together and draw that intention back down through the center line of your body. One more time, inhale, big rise. Exhale, draw that back down, in through heart center. Last time, inhale, rise. This time, stay here, palms face each other. Take a big breath in, reach up, and then exhale. Let the right arm fall down as the left arm reaches over. Stay here, take another big breath in, and dial your heart in your arm and your gaze up to the sky, pushing your arm away so you're getting a little bit of movement in that shoulder. Take a big breath in as you reach behind you, 
and then exhale, swoosh your arm across the front of your body and reach. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, release. Inhale, one last time. Exhale, drag it across your body. Inhale, both arms rise. Exhale, we come down to the other side and we reach. Staying here, taking a big breath in, dial your heart, your gaze up to the ceiling. Reaching behind you and then exhaling it across your chest. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, we take a little twist. Stay here, inhale again, take another twist. Inhale, the arms rise and we twist to the opposite side. Stay here for a second and take another breath in and take another twist. It might just be your head. Inhale, the arms rise and we rake down to the front of the room. Coming off of your props, if you were on anything. And then bring your blocks to the top of the mat where you can have access to them. And if you have sensitive knees, that's always a nice time to grab a blanket, a towel, anything to kind of double pad. So we're in our tabletop and our wrists, elbows, and shoulders are in line. Our hips and knees are in line. And our, our back is nice and straight and flat. So tip your toes and just push back on your feet. Wiggle those feet around, mush them in the mat. And then inhale, come back up. We're gonna come into some cat and cow. So untuck your toes, take a big breath in as you lift your hips and your gaze to the ceiling. Exhale, round your back, pushing the floor away from you as you exhale. Inhale, come into sacred cow. Exhale, round your back, push yourself away. Inhale, sacred cow. This time we're gonna exhale, round your back, but push yourself all the way back into child's pose. When you get in child's pose, reach your arms long in front of you, so you're reaching for the top of the mat. Take another breath in. Begin to rise up off of your heels in a round cat back, coming all the way through to table, and then finally to a lazy up dog. Inhale, use your belly muscles to push you all the way back. And glide forward in your cat back, coming all the way through to your lazy Inhale, use your belly button to push you back. This time, stay here. Exhale. Take another big breath in and start to round your um, rib cage to the right side. Exhaling over to the opposite side, coming back into child's pose. Inhale, the right. Exhale, left. This time, inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. And stay here in child's pose. Reach your arms long away from you. Your elbows are off the mat. And just gently rock from temple to temple. Breathing into the back of your rib cage. And also when you breathe in, notice the sides of your rib cage as well, if you can expand that, that as well. Take a big breath in. We're gonna come into our tabletop, placing our arms back underneath our shoulders. We're gonna flip our toes and gently begin to lift your knees up off the mat. So take another breath in 
and then slowly start to straighten your legs, pushing yourself into your first down dog. So walk your dog out a little bit. And then your feet are hips distance apart. Your fingers are spread wide. Your pointer finger is facing the front of the mat. And let your knees be soft. And let your tail lift up to the ceiling. Take a big breath in. Come high on your tiptoes. Exhale, one leg straighten, one leg bends. Inhale, switch legs, one leg bends, one leg straighten. Inhale, rise, exhale, both heels try to reach for the floor. Put a generous bend in your knees, tail goes high to the air. So breathe like you're going to spring right off into like a big jump towards the top of the mat, but we're not going to do that. Take another big breath in, we're going to roll ourselves out to plank pose. So take a breath in, belly button to spine, and lift your leg, your right leg up into the air, three limb dog. Exhale, come down, three limb plank. Inhale, shoot that leg up high to the sky. Exhale, come down. Inhale, and exhale. Last time, inhale, leave the leg up. Bend the knee, stack the hips, make sure that you're pushing off that left hand, you're not collapsing that left shoulder. And take a breath. Take another big breath in, bring the knee back down, and bring the foot back to the mat. Walk out your dog. Take a breath in, Come onto your tiptoes, squat back, like you're gonna jump, but you're not gonna. And then take a big breath in, shoot out to plank. Breath in, lift the left leg up. Exhale, back to three limb dog. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, shoot it out. Exhale, come forward. <laughs> Inhale, shoot it out. Last time, come down. Shoot it out. Leave it high in the air. Bend the knees. Stack the hips. Push that left, right hand into the mat. And then dial it back down. Leg comes back down. And we walk our dog. Big breath in, knees come down, child's pose. And take a breath. Grab a glass of water if you'd like. And notice, notice what that effort feels like. Because we know how to make things hard or harder. Maybe we can make this a little easier. So inhale, come back up to your tabletop, placing your hands back underneath you. We're gonna one more time come up into our downward facing dog. And then we're just gonna take little teeny steps to the front of the mat. And we're gonna hang here in ragdoll. Ragdoll can be grabbing your elbows. You can also have your arms down on the ground like they're empty coat sleeves. Your head is heavy, slight bend in your knees, and then roll your thighs inward creating a little bit more space in your sits area. And then your shins will stay to the midline. 
Put your fists together, place them between your toes, so that's hips distance apart. So we're getting prepared to come up. So take a big breath in, release your hands if they were grabbing your elbows. Breath in, drag your arms up, halfway lift. Exhale, come all the way down. Bend your knees generously. Glue your belly to your lap. Open your arms and start to come up. Hands touch and you pour yourself back down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come down. Both hands land on the mat. You're gonna step back with your right foot. You're in runner's lunge, so make sure your feet are on railroad tracks. And then grab a hold of those blocks if you want. Knee is over um, ankle. And then you're gonna take this back hip and you're just gonna bring it forward a little bit so that your hips are lined up. Take a big breath in and then straighten your front leg any amount. Don't lock your knee out. Place the blocks more underneath your shoulder. And with a breath in, reach the top of your head towards the front of the room. Exhale, bend your elbows, drape on over that leg. Maybe the knee bends more that your nose can touch. And breathe into the back of your left leg. Take a breath in, re-bend the knee. Use the blocks if you want. And then press your big toe and your heel into the earth and really feel the posture before you come up into it. And then gently start to lift your arms, lift it up, coming into warrior one, Virabhadrasana, so that back hip comes forward. We want to be able to see our big toe, arms reach tall, take a big breath in, and then as you exhale, Twist the back, turn the back leg down so it's parallel with the long edge of the mat and line your back your heel up with the arch of your back foot. Bring your hands to your hips, square your hips to the long edge of the mat, and then add your arms. Looking over your front middle finger, feel the posture. Notice where you can distribute your weight. You don't have to hang out in your front thigh. You can hang out in all your muscles, all your bondages, your hips, your buttocks, everything just like scissored together. Release the back arm, flip the top, over. Big breath in, exhale, side angle. Reach the top arm, pinky side down. Big breath in, straighten that front leg. Come back to dancing. Inhale, reach the arms wide. Reach to, the, to the front of your mat and reach up and over coming into triangle. A lot of times we go into triangle and we just collapse right into our side body, our left side of our body. Opening up, big breath in, exhale, come back to warrior three. Inhale, partly your arms down. Coming back onto the ball mount of your back foot. Both hands come to the mat and take your left foot, excuse me, your right foot and push yourself back into your down dog. Big breath in, lift the left leg up to the sky. Oh no, I'm sorry, we walked. Take a big breath in and take little teeny steps to the front of the mat. When you get there, hang in empty coat sleeves. So you got a nice little bend in your knees. You're checking out your feet position. You know we're gonna rise up. 
And let your head be really heavy this time. So you can really feel the traction in your back, your entire back. Bring your hands to the mat, take a breath in, drag your hands up your shins back. Exhale, come down. Glue your belly to your thighs, bend your knees generously, open your wings and all the way up. This time we're gonna swan dive all the way back down to the earth. Hands plant down, we step back with our right foot this time. So we're in our runner's lunge. Setting yourself up, grab your blocks if you want, and straighten that front leg. Bring that left hip back, or forward, and the right hip back. And then bring the blocks a little bit underneath your shoulder. Take a big breath in, stretch the crown of your head towards the front of the room. Exhale, bend your arms, bend your head. Bring your knee down to your nose, your nose down to your knee. Big breath in, bend the front knee, get your blocks. So set yourself up before you come up. Feel strong in your warrior. Open your arms, come all the way up. Adjust your hips so the front hip comes back. Reaching up long through your arms, belly button into spine. Breathe in. Exhale, spin your leg down, line up your heel to your arch again. So take a minute and place your hands on your hips, squaring your hips to the long edge of the mat. And sometimes when you do that, this knee wants to go along for the ride. Don't let it. Make sure you can still see that big toe. And then you add your arm. Shoulders are relaxed. You're looking over that front little finger. Big breath in. Release the back arm. Lift the top arm in. Take another big breath in. We're coming into side angle. Lunar land. Reach that top arm. Piggy side down. Big breath in. Straighten both legs. Inhale again, reach long through that right arm. And again, don't collapse into the right side. Just allow the arm to fall, left arm rises. Breath in again, palms turn down, knee bend. Exhale, cartwheel all the way down. Take your right leg, bring it back to meet your left leg down dog and just walk your dog and take a breath in come to your hands and knees and push yourself into child's pose and take a drink and So take a big breath in, and as you do, drag your hands alongside the mat. You're coming to sit up on your heels. Head is the last to lift. Sitting all the way up on your heels. Start to come to a high knee, lifting your arms up over your head. Interlacing them, releasing your pointer. Take a big breath in and exhale over to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Inhale through center. Release your arms behind you and interlace them. And sit back down on your heels. Now scrub your knuckles towards the mat. Your heart goes to the front of the room. Take a big breath in. 
and then begin to just fall to your forehead, letting your arms go wherever they want to go, and then roll right to the tippity top of your head. So your hands can stay at your lower back, go right up over in your mouth. So open your eyes. And you're just going to come right off to the side and onto our backs. And a blanket. And then we're going to come into boat pose. So bring your big toes to touch. Grab a hold of the backs of your knees and straighten your arms. So maintain that straight back. Begin to lean back as your toes leave the mat. Or not, they don't have to. Take a nice breath in. Use your body muscles and extend your legs to maybe reach your arms. And so this could be your boat, this could be your boat. Whatever your boat looks like today is what your boat looks like today. So reach long with those hands, reach long with the feet. If the back starts to curl, then you've got to come out of it a little bit. And then grab a hold of the backs of the legs, place the feet on the mat, and reach your arms forward, tucking your chin to your chest. Begin to roll yourself onto your back. Slowly, mindfully using all of your muscles. And then when you finally get onto your back, extend your legs and extend your arms. Reaching, giving yourself like a morning stretch. And then bring the soles of your feet to the mat, your arms return by your side. And press your belly button into the mat. And then bring your knees into your chest for a hug. Rocking from side to side. Giving your back a little massage. And then with your little basket you make with your hands, grab a hold of your right knee. Extend your left leg to the side. Take another breath in, and as you do, pull that knee into the chest as your leg descends to the mat. When your leg hits the mat, take another breath in and pull that knee over to your shoulder. Another breath in, bring your sole of your left foot to the mat, cross your ankle. So put your ankle, your right ankle onto your left thigh. And then lift your left foot up, threading your hands behind your knee or in front of your knee. And gently start to just rock from side to side. Come to stillness, take a breath in, and as you exhale, bring that left knee into your chest, any amount. And you still might want to rock. Take one more deep breath in, and as you exhale, maybe you can pull that knee in a little more. 
and just breathe for just a few seconds, noticing the sensation building in your right hip, it's okay. Come to your edge with the sensation, like what is on the other side if I stay and I challenge myself? Not to say anything's bad about backing up either. If it's too much, back up. And then slowly come to stillness if you were rocking. And place your left foot on the mat, leaving your knee, your ankle on your knee. Extend both arms, palms down. So tee your arms out. Now cross that right leg over the left. Use your left foot to pick you up, place your hips to the right, your knees go to the left, and your gaze goes to the right. So see where you can soften something, right? You're in a twist, you're bringing out the spine, your hips are involved. Maybe your knee starts to travel towards the mat as you begin to relax. Allowing the body just to organically do what it does. Another breath in and dial those knees back up to the ceiling nice and slowly. Wiggle yourself back into the center of the mat. Uncross your legs. Press your belly button into your spine. Neutralize your spine and then bring your knees up. Making a little basket for your left knee, extend your right leg to the ceiling. Holding on to the left knee, take a big breath in, and as you do, release the right leg to the mat and pull the left knee into your chest. Inhale again, maybe pull the knee over to your shoulder, adding a little bit more compression. Bending the right leg, placing the right foot on the floor, place the left ankle on the right knee. And then go ahead and lift that right leg, thread the hands behind the thigh, and just rock gently. Come to stillness, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, Pull the right knee into your chest. So you might completely be experiencing something totally different on this left side as you did on your right. Take another breath in. Maybe there's a little bit more available. You can pull in to your chest. Releasing your right foot to the mat. To your arms out, palms down, cross your left over your right. Use your left foot to pick you up, place your hips to the left. Your knee goes to the right and your gaze goes left. And just breathe into this twist. Feeling the sensation. It's okay. And maybe both your shoulder blades aren't on the mat. Maybe your knees aren't even close to the mat. It doesn't matter. Our bodies are all so different. Our limbs are, the length of our limbs are so different. And then take a breath in. Dial the knees back up. 
Uncross your legs, neutralize the spine again by pressing the belly button into the mat. Lift your knees up to your chest. And then reach right through and grab either onto your big toes or the sides of your feet and come into happy baby, pulling the knees right down into the armpit. Mm -hmm. And then releasing the hands, releasing the legs. Start to prepare yourself for the final posture of the day, which is Shavasana. So find yourself lying on the floor in any shape you want. Your legs can be bound ankle, or your heels can just splay out to the sides. Let your arms splay out, palms face up. And go back to the way that we began the class by breathing. Now noticing the quality of the breath now compared to when we started. Feel your imprints on the mat. Feel the weight of your body on the mat. Notice. There's nothing more to do. No more postures to hold. Shavasana. Welcome to stay here as long as you need to or want to. Thank you so much for sharing your, your time with me. Namaste.